In the following part of the video I will briefly describe how the rules work. For this I will be using the rules as used in the current version of the Twilight of Sun King uh, rules. Uh, this is because the rules do uh, share a lot with, uh, across the different uh, sets and different systems but, um, but obviously there are differences. So uh, this is what you would do uh, for Twilight of Sun King rules. The first part of a player's turn is to move their units. Um, if the player just wants to move the unit straight forward, uh, they can do this once without any problems. So for example, if the unit just wanted to move forward like this, you could do that without any problems. It's important to remember that the distance that the unit will move is based on half of the frontage of the unit. So for this unit, it's a multiple of this distance. But if, for example, we were using uh, this as unit, these two bases as a unit, then we would instead base the movement on this distance. So therefore, you can scale the unit sizes to whatever you wish. Uh, in addition to this, uh, if the player wishes, the units can make a second move. Uh, to do this, you need to have a commander nearby, and the commander needs to have uh, a, a rating. This, this commander's rating uh, is 1, which is about average. And this means that he can spend this one point, and then attempt to make this unit do a second turn. Uh, to do that, the unit will have to pass an action test. Uh, more on that shortly. Uh, but uh, essentially it means that the second movement is not certain and uh, they may not make it. Uh, also, uh, if you make a second turn, then uh, you cannot engage in any combat. So uh, it would not, this unit would not be able to attack that French unit which is waiting over there. If on the other hand the unit wishes to do something a little bit more complicated, uh, then it must take an action test. Uh, these vary a little uh, depending on uh, what they are for and in different rule sets, but in general the standard action test is to roll a d6 and uh, if you score a 1 or a 2 uh, on the d6 then uh, you have failed. If you score any other number then you have succeeded. So for example if you wish to uh, make uh, any movement uh, or maneuver which is not straight ahead uh, for example wheeling or changing formation or turning to face in a different direction all of these are action tests and also could further restrict your movement for example cutting it in half or reducing it to zero. Uh, in addition uh, to cross terrain pieces or to move in terrain pieces is also often an action test so for example uh, this stream here uh, it's uh, quite narrow, so this could be one action test across, but we'll see here the stream is wider and so therefore perhaps could be two action tests across, one, one to uh, move into it and one to move out to the other side. In addition, um, additional action tests might be uh, required if you are under artillery fire uh, or uh, in other circumstances like, for example, to move into contact with the front of an enemy unit. So here we have a unit which wishes to uh, wheel to line up with the stream and then cross the stream uh, to engage with this French unit here waiting for them. This will involve a series of action tests uh, as each action is attempted. If one fails, the unit will be left in position. So for example, for this unit, it would first of all roll uh, a, a dice to see if it can perform an action test to wheel. Assuming it succeeds, it would move like so. <clears throat> Next, it would roll a second action dice uh, to attempt to cross the stream, like so. Uh, if it's, uh, and it would move like that if it succeeds. The problem of it is that, of course, you can't guarantee that you will pass all the action tests. But this unit does have uh, the commander here, rated 1 and he can use uh, this one uh, point that he has 
to try to give the unit a second attempt to fail if it should fail. So let's see how this unit gets on. So first of all uh, it tries to wheel to line up with the stream. It succeeded. So the unit wheels to line up with the stream. Now it is going to cross the stream. And it succeeded with that. So it's been lucky. Let's though go back and assume that instead the unit was not quite so lucky and had rolled a 2. The unit has therefore failed its action test and is stuck like this. But the commander here is close enough so he can spend one of his dice and he can give this unit a second attempt to go over. But that has failed as well. So therefore the unit is stuck in this position. The only other uh, effect on movement is uh, bad going, uh, which is particularly bad terrain like, for example, uh, woods or marshes or something similar. Uh, bad going uh, is uh, only accessible uh, on foot, so therefore cattle would have to dismount to enter it, uh, and you move at half speed. So the intention is that the players can customise the, uh, the effect of the terrain by uh, combining uh, bad going and uh, action tests. So for example if this, this stream was actually maybe um, surrounded by a marshy area of some kind it could be bad going to cross it because of the marshy ground and also two action tests as previously said. It could be that this stream uh, is an action test for infantry to cross it but it's relatively shallow so cavalry can cross it easily and they don't need to take a test. It's up to the players to, uh, to define how the terrain is uh, and of course often it's defined by the scenario.